All righty, welcome back here to uh, Helping Hand. Happy to uh, be with you once again on TV3. Jennifer, as always, good Hello. to have you with us. Good to be here. We're outdoors today, another field trip for us. We're in the backyard of the refuge. Of the refuge. And uh, just all sorts of things going on here. I, I've not really been back here before, so it's, it's a nice little setting. And, nice little and, setting. Uh, uh, I'm not exactly sure what is all taking place out here, but I'm sure Randy can fill us in when, he can when, when he his is segment on. comes up. Yep. So let's talk about the thrift store. What's new there? Thrift store is doing great. Um, wanted to mention again that we are having a bag sale. Um, August Monday, August 27th through uh, Friday the 31st. Okay. Um, it'll be $5 a bag, so we'll, we'll talk a little bit more about it again next week, but wanted to get it out there. Okay. And then also wanted to mention we had um, our pickups yesterday and uh, picked up some really good furniture. We have a beautiful maple curio that came in okay. and then um, some big dining room tables, solid. There's one solid oak one. Um, there's a tiger wood one, just some beautiful tables. So if you're looking for any furniture or anything like that, definitely stop in. And they're on the floor. And in, they are on the floor. In, in they're the ready store. to go. They, okay. They're going to go quick, though. So. Okay. okay. So that's nice that people will think of the refuge when, yeah. when they have major items like that to, uh, to pass on. To pass on, yeah. And they're, they're beautiful. I mean, very, if I didn't already have a nice kitchen table, I think I would probably okay. buy this, this oak one that's in right now. Okay. But. Where are you finding a lot of your donations coming from? You know, a lot of people are just calling in and they, they know about what we're doing and about the refuge and the Compassion House. And um, they just want to help. They want to help out. And so they'll call and we'll go pick them up or they'll bring them in. Um, donations in so it's just people wanting to be a part of what we're doing okay so traffic in the store continues to, to very run busy well. yep very okay. busy in the okay. store we've had some really good days um, summer winding down a little bit <laughs> um, yeah so okay. it's been going okay. real good so so people getting into fall, lots of things that uh, they can use as their kids are heading off to school. To school, and yep and we're getting ready to bring out the the fall and winter clothes as well okay. um, We'll be having, on top of the bag sale over this next couple, next month or so, we'll be having a lot of sale to move out the summer clothes and okay. things like that uh, so we can make room for the fall stuff. And then also I decided too, within the next couple of weeks, I'm going to start clearing a section in the store to start moving out Christmas items. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> so, so now you had your big event last we weekend? We did have the big event okay. last weekend. That went very well. Good, so. good. So plans for future events like that we are going to do enough? we are going to do one more um, rummage sale in September oh, okay. we're not sure the date yet so stay tuned and we'll we'll let you know on okay. that okay so tell us again your bag sale is running bag sale is running August 27th through August 31st at five dollars a bag okay stop okay. in and so see us the refuge helping hand thrift store downtown Detroit Lakes your hours uh, Monday through Friday from 9 to 6 and Saturday from 9 to 4 okay. thanks Jennifer thanks we'll be right back all righty, we're back again here. We're at the refuge, uh, uh, the backyard of the refuge. And with us, uh, we have Randy Kohler. Good morning, Dave. Good morning, morning. And also we have a special guest with us today. What is your name? Alexander James McCormick. Okay, so um, we have kind of a special story to tell today, Randy. Yeah, well, we wanted to share with the community and the public what's going on with Alex. Uh, Alex, come to us. Uh, many of you may have read about him in the newspaper. Um, one of the things that Alex does is he makes origamis. He folds them up and he goes around the community and he offers to sell them. And he does this to raise money for the refuge, if you can believe that. And one of uh, Alex's heartfelt uh, uh, mission fields is to get other kids in the community to think of something that they love to do and uh, have a dream and go after it and one of them things that Alex does is he folds origamis his brothers and sisters draw pictures and they they sell them to people in the community to raise money and he wants to encourage other kids to raise money for an organization that they love whether it's their church or their youth program or maybe it's even the boys and girls club or some place like that and that's what Alex loves to do now how did you come up with this idea Alex basically I was in a hospital because my, because I had an allergic reaction to a medicine. And, and, just, and just decided to start up some sort of a project? My mom kept on coming. She brought me origami. I started to teach myself with the instructions how to do it. The most one, the one I was most fascinated with was the crane. Okay. Now you made this uh, in front of our eyes in, in a matter of minutes just a few moments ago. It looks great. Yes. 
So, so what else is happening at the refuge? Well, we, we brought you to the backyard, and, and uh, we're blessed to have Carrie with us to capture the beautiful backyard that the uh, Catholic Heart Work Camp came here for a week, and they painted the whole fence in the backyard, um, painted the trellis, and uh, uh, soon to be, my future wedding is going to happen back here. That's what I understand. Yeah. So what, well, what all sorts of things happen back here? Well, we have weddings back here in the backyard. We have a stage where we put on concerts back here. Um, we'll have services back here. We have a waterfall, and we um, uh, it's just a picturesque backyard. People come back here and eat their meals and, and just gather back here. We just wanted to get out here one time before the weather really turns. And it's kind of turned today. We, we're, we're looking for more warmth the next week again. But uh, I'm looking forward to next week. Yeah. I'm not going to receive fall yet. Okay, sounds good. So uh, the refuge continues. Compassion House activity continues. Volunteers always welcome. Always welcome. We need your help. Okay, thanks, Randy. Thanks, Alex. You're welcome. Have a great week, everyone. See God you. bless. See you soon.